Greetings folks, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review this time featuring Shuttlecraft Set 3 which includes the Travel Pod, Type 11, Argo and Worker V. This will be a four part video so do check out the other three parts and let me know what you think of each ship and whether you're getting it. Did you get it on discount? Are you waiting for a discount or did you pay full whack for the set? And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the comments below. So let's get straight into it. So we're looking at Shuttlecraft Type 11. One of the Shuttlecrafts that I truly, truly love. Just fantastic design and just looks like it's moving fast, even if it's docked, sitting in a shuttle bay somewhere or on the surface of a strange alien world. But before we get to look at this, what looks to be a lovely shuttle here, Let's have a look at the magazine first. So Type 11 shuttle, length 16 meters, standard crew four assigned to the USS Enterprise E. We have our two sections, our mounting instructions, and a little brief rundown of the Type 11. So they were equipped with transporters and designed to dock with other vessels. So we have a docking port on the ship, uh, rather than having to rely on transporters or shuttle bay. It had uh, three avenues to uh, go about. Um, so again, ba -ba -ba -ba, the layout of the cockpit was reminiscent of the type used for the Danube class runabouts. Um, it provided consoles and seatings for four crew. So again, you're gonna have that within Trek, which I think is pretty good. So there's a little bit more information in this versus the travel pod. Um, we had the kind of iconic images of the motion picture uh, as we do from um, Star Trek Insurrections as well, we have the scene where Worf and Picard um, head away from um, head away to capture Data as well. And uh, I liked their banter, but I always found it odd that scene where Picard is like, "Oh, you know Gilbert and O'Sullivan," and he's like, "Oh, I haven't met all the crew." Like, okay, he was raised on Earth. Fair enough. He's Klingon. 400 years in the future uh, how do you expect this guy to know about Gilbert and O'Sullivan? I just thought it was like ah, oh, why, why but I'm sure there's a probably a good reason uh, it was comical but um, it was just a bit kind of not for me um, but here we have Johnny's great design and uh, just it was a fun movie, it wasn't the best out of all of them um, it still had its moments uh, here we have the Akutogram, so again in the TN, post TNG style so again type 11 and we have all the kind of main points of interest the larger nacelles and the the four seating points and transporters and all that good stuff so let's close out on the back graphic and let's have a look at the star of the show shall we so let's take it out of our packaging and let's have a look at the shuttle shall we so here we have the type 11 looks very very clean from the initial look let's have a look at the paint apps and decals everything is Pinpoint sharp, NCC 1701E, very crisp, slight misalignment there, but nothing too crazy. Everything else looks pretty on point. Clear plastic, nacelles and buzzards, which is nice. Seam is quite well hidden. Die cast, plastic belly. So ventral section, the docking collar there actually, as well as the top, so that's pretty cool phaser strip and our landing pads so the sculpt it's pretty detailed it's pretty kind of I feel it's pretty accurate in comparison to what we saw on screen and in the magazine as well um, everything is nice and crisp on it so you can see there's a couple of different tones of grey and again the mould gives you all the details there so all the kind of unique angles and curves and stuff like that on it as well so as you can see it just so aerodynamic, so futuristic in comparison to all the shuttles that we've seen in um, Voyager and beyond as well. So pretty, pretty cool. So normally we'd see like a back hatch here that can open up. Um, but yeah, so this shuttle was designed to dock, which was one of the reasons why it was sent off after data, because it needed to dock and uh, capture the scout ship to uh, send off the uh, deactivation sequence for data. So um, yeah, pretty good model. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think below. Um, I'm glad of the inclusion 
of these parts i think they do really enhance these ships as well and these are expensive little ships um but before we go let's have a look at the ecudogram that comes with the shuttles as well so again it's just a duplication of what we saw in the magazine but in this kind of nice quality um plastic card that comes again with its mount that you can display behind it as well so um, again giving you all the points of interest so all the pois bulkheads sensor array avionics bay all the good stuff um, secondary generator yeah all the important bits and again it's just as obviously it's see-through so it's on the reverse on the back but again depending on your display you could uh, definitely utilize this and um, but does it add value to the shuttle pack that's up to you guys um, I think it does I think it's nice to have um, makes it stand out a little bit over the regular collection but um, yeah that concludes our type 11 review so again let me know what you think and uh, stay tuned for the next part of the shuttle pack yeah.